Hello everybody, this is Jeremy and I'm wanting to show you how to create a custom action in Photoshop. The action we're going to create is, it's an old retouching technique, I don't even know if it's even still in use anymore, but it's called frequency separation. The idea is you take an image and you split it into two layers, a high frequency layer that's just for texture, and then a low frequency layer that's just for color. And I've already done that here. I'm going to delete this and set it up with an action so that way I can immediately replicate it on any image I bring in. So let me go ahead and delete this. Come up here to my actions menu. I'm going to create a new action. Frequency separation 8 bit. The technique is slightly different for 16 bit images. Okay. First duplicate layer for the low frequency. Duplicate the layer for the high frequency. Let me move that up. I'm going to group these together. Change the name. Okay. So I'm going to select the low Come up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I'll just go with 5, it's a good one. Then I'll come to the High Level. Come up to Image. Choose Apply Image. And as you can see, I've already done this before. So the settings are changing the layer to the low layer using the subtract blending mode, scale to offset 128. These three right here actually change a bit if you're using a 16-bit image, so you'd want to create a separate action for that. Click OK. And then I want to come up to the blending mode and choose linear light for my high frequency layer. As you can see, there's essentially no difference between the two now. And that completes the action. Of course, I have a couple extra steps in there that I don't really need, but I guess that's okay. So, if we want to replicate this again, now all we have to do, my help by, nope, I did, okay. Ah, goodness. Okay, so now, if I want to do the exact same thing, I prefer button mode. I'll come over here to button mode, and here is my action that I've set up. Now all I have to do is click it, and it's recreated every one of those steps, and I'm immediately ready to start working on this, retouching it, and I can apply this to any image now that I want to bring in. I hope you find that helpful and useful, and thanks.